ladies want to get gifts and get men to spoil you and trick on you every day every day but especially valentine's day stay tuned hi you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl code name chanel and i'm back but clearly i'm back with some finesse tips welcome if you're a turning subscriber then you know it's all love now how I manifest a wonderful, spectacular, terrific Valentine's Day is I collect pictures of everything I want. If you know me, I love Pinterest. So I I always start the year off with making a vision board. Um, but even if it's not like a vision board that is in that is on cardboard, um, it can be a vision board that is on Pinterest. Now, Pinterest, I have all Type, follow me on Pinterest too, y'all, because my Pinterest is lit. Okay, my Pinterest is kind of lit. So if it's a, on my Pinterest, I have all type of boards. I have like wedding bells, but I make private Pinterest boards for myself. My private Pinterest board right now is called Chanel Me for Valentine's Day. That is <laughs> Chanel Me for V-Day. That is my Pinterest board right now. And I'm manifesting everything that I want for Valentine's Day. Um, I want a Fendi bag, a Prada bag, and a Range Rover. Those are just the top three. I mean, it's I'm just I'm I'm a simple girl. I'm a simple girl. <laughs> That's all y'all need. So what I do in on my Valentine's Day Pinterest board, I add all type of things: lilies, roses, all type of flowers. Those are my favorite two flowers, but um, I'll add roses to that. And I'll go ahead and add different things I want. Shoes, heels. I mean, if you want your student loans paid off. So we're manifesting good things. We're creating, we're creating memories for the future. Don't let, don't let that go over your head. But we are literally saving things and knowing that this will happen for us eventually. Point blank period. One, adding different things to your Pinterest. Having your board saved as your screensaver so that you can see everything that you want. Okay. So that's step one. Okay, if you want to be spoiled and tricked on for Valentine's Day and you want somebody to blow a bag, let's start manifesting that and saying your affirmations every single day. You deserve to be spoiled. You deserve to be treated to the world. You deserve the best. You are worthy of the best. And you know why you're worthy of the best? Just because you are. Just because you are. If anybody has a problem with it, tell them, tell them, to, tell them to come to me. Tell them to come to me. And I'll just say, because she is. Because she fucking deserves it. Okay? I don't have an explanation for you. And you may not get one. That's it. And seriously, so, and you know what? I, I'm always saying Range Rover. I really want a G-Wagon, but we're going to let them slide with the range. Let them slide with the range. And if you go on my Patreon, I have a podcast with my sponsor, my generous boo. And I told him, like, I want the Range Rover for my birthday, but now I moved it up to Valentine's Day. So the clock is ticking. He literally has, like, less than two weeks. So I, I really hope that he does what it do and do what it do. Because um, I am indie spoiled. So that means that yes, I'm independent, but I will also spoil myself. So if I have to get my own range, I'm single. I already said this before. I D G A F. I don't give a fuck. Period. Nevertheless, nevertheless, um, nevertheless, never. I feel like on your dating sites, make sure you have a lot of dining pictures. Make sure you have a lot of pictures eating out. You ladies want Valentine's dates? Well, it's it's look it has to look like you're dating. It has to look like you're out dating and you're living your life and you just want somebody who's sitting at dinner waiting for your roses dozen roses also red is a good color to wear if you're trying to attract men for valentine's day um and using using different sites bumble hinge luxie league inner circle okay cupid match.com eharmony there's so many dating sites you know what we're gonna use we're gonna use google and we're gonna use the app store and we're not gonna keep asking chanel chanel what apps are you using what apps are you using i'm using the same apps you're using i'm using the same apps you're using just with better pictures. Better pictures. I better pictures. I better pictures. I prompts. I'm gonna ask answer questions very Valentine's Day. Like very Valentine's Day. And it's not gonna be what I don't want to do, and what I don't want anyone to do is to come off corny or cheesy or desperate. Corny, cheesy, or desperate. Out the door. Okay. I want women to let's just say Bumble asks you a question. On hinge, that asks you a way to win me over. Flowers on Valentine's Day lovely candlelight dinner for valentine's day the key to my heart roses on valentine's day delicious eating delicious cuisine at a nice restaurant with an elegant setting on valentine's day 
I'm trying to learn how to, how I just did my lips. I'm trying to learn how to wink. Am I winking? Did I wink? What's the most spontaneous thing you've ever did? Well, last year on Valentine's Day, dot, 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 they're going to ask what happened. They're going to ask what happened because men are nosy. Men are nosy. They're going to want to know what happened. What happened on Valentine's Day? Try to guess this about me. And then you'll put, what's my favorite holiday? And then when they, what they'll do is, these are prompts. So on Hinge, because Hinge is one of my favorite dating apps, you guys. Period, point blank. Period, point blank. Try to guess this about me. And you're going to put, what's my favorite holiday? When the person clicks on your prompt, they will ask you something or heart it or something like that. And then you'll say Valentine's Day. It's really that simple. I don't know why we got to make this hard. But ladies, you deserve to be spoiled on Valentine's Day. So go on these apps and act like it. Thank you. Thank you, management. Management, okay? Codename Chanel said finesse. It's tiny. Okay. Period. All right. All right. It's there. It's all there. But <laughs> let me stop. You guys know I am literally stoked about Valentine's Day. Can we talk about how the next thing you have to do is you have to go on social media and you have to post gifts, bags, shoes, everything that you want. Now, we don't want it to come off too obvious, especially if you're not a girl that already posts bags. It's upsetting me if you don't already post bags and gifts that you want. If you follow me on social media every once in a while, especially on Snapchat, I'm going to post a Versace bag or some type of luxury bag that I don't want, that I don't need, that I will never buy for myself. Yeah, yeah, I said it. Not buying it for myself. I want somebody else to buy it. Is it crime? Haha, uh -huh, not my problem. Things and I'll be like, oh my god, if someone got me this, wow, this is what I really want. This is exactly what I want for Valentine's Day. I know if you follow me on social media, you see me post that pink, but that pink Prada bag. I don't even like Prada. Okay, I like I. I mean, I'm the type of girl that if you see me with a luxury handbag, just know I didn't buy it. Just know somebody else bought it for me. Yeah, and I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. That's just how the game goes. That's how the game goes. And I was in the bag. Five thousand. Y'all, y'all, y'all are wait, ladies. Y'all are reaching into your pocket. In your wallet and you're spending five thousand dollars when someone else will do it on a bag put that in your savings but hun put that in your savings on social media you can also find cute memes like a guy like spoiling his girlfriend say something that went viral on twitter you're gonna take that and you're gonna post that on your story and you're gonna be like wow some girls are just so lucky or wow hopefully this will be me on the 14th you just never know you just never know like posting roses anything Anything aesthetically pleasing on your Instagram story. Anything aesthetically pleasing on your Instagram page. Something that brings people happiness. You can kind of tell where your energy is coming from or what type of energy you have when, um, based on what type of things somebody posts. So I try, I post funny things on my Instagram story. I post, uh, 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 I post problematic things. I post toxic things on my Instagram story. Yes, I do. But I do, I also balance it out. I'll post vacation spots, quotes, inspirational quotes, bags that I want, shoes that I want, travel destinations that I want to go to, um, places that I want to eat at, my favorite restaurants. I balance it out with positivity because sometimes it's just draining, especially so you're you're on your Instagram story, you're moody all the time, you're angry all the time, then all of a sudden you're like, I want this product bag. You're like, one one day you're like, I hate the world. And another thing too is men bashing. Like when you're on, on on your Instagram story, you're talking about like dudes ain't ish, dudes ain't nothing, dudes ain't spending money. What do you want a, a dude that spend money to jump in your DM and be like, hey, I it's me, I spend money. Let me know if that works. Let me know y'all y'all girls that be bashing dude on, dudes online. Let me know if like bashing them online works and they jump in your DMs. Cause if that's something new, let me know. I, I'm all I'm all for it. But most of the time they don't want to see that. You post positivity. Everyone loves to laugh. Everyone loves a joke. I only met one person in my whole life who didn't want to, who didn't like a joke, and I divorced him. So, anyways, if you're posting stuff that's funny, and it's, and then you're also balancing it out with positivity. Then you throw in the Saint Laurent. Then you throw in the Fendi. Then you throw in the Chloe. Then you throw in the Red Bottoms. Okay, you throw those in on your story. Oh, this is what I really want. I've been looking forward to this. This is why I'm looking forward to Valentine's Day. Um, and the, the DMs will come and they'll slide in your DMs. Okay. Cause we're manifesting a lovely Valentine's day. Ladies also do not forget to refresh your pictures, new pictures, new pics, new pics, new pics.
for Valentine's Day. You didn't get a date with your last your, your pictures last year. So what makes you think you're going to get a date with the pictures this year? And you didn't get gifts with your pictures last year. So what makes you think you're going to get gifts with your pictures this year? Another thing, another social media trend that I see posting around is ladies being negative about Valentine's Day. You guys know this meme? Like uh, this meme? These memes that are, are, that are posted? Stop posting those. They scream desperation. They scream no one picks me. They scream no one wants me. I don't. So you're making yourself undesirable, okay? Don't follow the trends. Don't follow the fads. Make, like I always say, y'all, live a lifestyle. Lifestyle, and you're already living positive, and you're already happy, and you're already doing your thing before Valentine's Day, then that's the type of people you're going to attract. If you're posting negativity about, I'm going to knock all this stuff over on Valentine's Day, or the 14th is just another day for me, not for me. I plan on getting a Range Rover, okay? And if y'all don't see me with a Range Rover, just know afterwards I'm single. Everyone's getting dropped, okay? I'm starting over with a new team, all right? Because this... I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. She's got a point. She's an icon. She's a legend. And she is the moment. Yes. Now, come on now. And you know, women that are on my Patreon, where I give exclusive finesse tips, women that are on there and they're having success. And it's not just because Valentine's Day, because every day is Valentine's Day when you're dealing with a generous man. Okay. But I feel like a lot of their success is coming from believing in they can actually do it. And how do you believe in something that you don't even see for yourself? So consistently showing your things, yourself these things and consistently visualizing it and seeing this for yourself is definitely where it's going to be. I want everyone to, if you are part of the finesse family, I want your, I want your Valentine's Day to be like out of this world. Okay. I want someone to slide in your DM and be like, Hey, let's go out to dinner. I, and when you arrive to dinner, I literally want there to be a Bentley Coupe outside. I want him to sweet you. I want him to sweet you. Period. But ladies, if you need any more extra finesse tips, these are exclusive finesse tips that I only put on Patreon. If I put it on YouTube, just know I clarify it over there on Patreon. I hope everyone has a lovely Valentine's Day. Countdown starts now. All right, ladies, get on these apps. Refresh your pictures. Make sure that you have the romance curls. Follow me on Instagram, codename Chanel. Make sure you ladies follow me, okay? And Snapchat Chanel Kid Herb. And what else? I think that I'm out. Am I out? Am I out? How do you guys like the dark lit? Let me know if I'm out though. Am I out? Am I out?